Hello, it's Boxpro. Welcome back to my Lost Ark uh, Korean voiceover guide. Today, I'm going to be going over how to get the Korean voiceover for your game. Right now, it is in the English um, default state for the NA or global release. Um, just so that I can kind of show you guys the start and end result. Um, so right now, you know, all the text is going to be in English and, you know, all the characters are talking in English. And then once we install the Korean voiceover pack and enable it, it'll just change just the voices. Um, so that way you can still read and like understand all the subtitles and see what's going on. Um, but you get to experience the Korean voices, voice lines. So now that I showed you guys how the game normally is, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually get the pack. So you want to go ahead and just completely quit out of the game. All right, so you want to go ahead and make sure the game is completely closed out. Um, sometimes it can be like still running in the background a little bit. So you just want to make sure that it's completely closed because if the game opens or is open, then there's a chance that the, um, the Korean VO pack will actually glitch out a little bit and not install all the files properly. Um, so make sure, you know, in Task Manager, it's fully closed out. And then you just want to go to your library, go to Lost Ark, and then, you know, you can go to store page. And then you can scroll down to the DLC section right here. And then you can click on the Korean VO pack. And then from here, you just hit the download. And then once you click download, it can sometimes launch um, Lost Ark. So, and that's like what we don't want. So you actually want to go ahead and quit this. Then you go to my library, you know, make sure Lost Ark is quit out. I don't know why it's it's finicky like this, but um, yeah, it does kind of cause some glitching if you try to install the DLC and then the game launches. I went ahead and task manager uh, Lost Ark just to make sure it's fully closed. And then I'm gonna go here to properties and then I'm gonna go to the DLC. And in this case, um, you might have it um, unchecked, but if you wanna just make sure to get a full install, what you do is you uncheck it and then you let it patch and then you recheck it and then it should do a, like a full clean install of the DLC and that should limit the amount of glitches. Um, it, there are some known glitches and some audio bugs, but the, the team is currently working on it from, I think their Twitter, they tweeted out about it. So hopefully they get those fixed soon, but for now it should work for most things um, if you get like a, a clean install. All right, so now we go back to properties, we go to DLC, and then I reselect it. And then, yeah, there we go. I was waiting for the update. So now it's gonna do the fresh full update. And you can see like now, right now, Lost Ark isn't launching. So that's what we want. <laughs> uh, now that that's done, we pretty much have like a really good, like clean install. So now we're gonna just launch the game. So now that we are back in game after installing the pack on Steam, you just want to go ahead and go to your settings. You can use escape or just the settings button and then game menu. Um, and then you want to go to settings here. Audio and then right here, it'll say select voice language. You should now be able to go to the drop down and see Korean. And then you are going to have to restart it one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Make sure to hit apply and then you can exit out. And then we're just going to restart the game. And there you go. Game is restarted. I can hear the Korean voice line. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and double check that the game audio is fully working though. So I'm going to go ahead and go to an area where I can actually do a bit of combat. There you go. My dash is working. Uh, the bug I was having was... Yes, yeah, so my audio is working, which is good. Before, uh, before I installed the voice pack and did like a clean install, um, it was really glitched. A lot of audio was missing and it just felt kind of empty. <laughs> um, but it looks like everything is working as expected. I think some mounts and some things are still glitched, but um, they're working on that. So hopefully they get that all fixed soon. Um, but for the most part, if you do the clean install, then you should have like 99% of the audio working as expected. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, until next time.